Hello everyone, welcome back. So I wanted to show you my upgraded um, Coleman lantern and um, stove kind of repair box, toolbox, whatever you want to call it. Um, I figure some of my uh, DIY folks out there would enjoy seeing this. Now, I started out with this little box and it quickly filled up and really wasn't practical anymore. So I found this metal box probably, I'm going to say, 15 years ago. Up in New York, I was just, I forget where I was going, maybe the store or something, and, and somebody threw this out. And I'm, ever since I was a kid, I was all about boxes and bags and um, whenever I would see a box anywhere or kind of case or something, I'd always stop and pick it up. So I got this metal case. This is exactly the way I found it. And I built this little insert here. Which is just made out of plywood. And I painted it gray to match the box. And this has all my tools in it that I've been using. For example, we got our channel locks. Take out the, the burners. We got all the little wrenches that I bent. We got... Now these are something... Probably a lot of folks don't have, but these are tiny little wrenches. This size here is 532. This actually fits on the the end of the generator, the tip to unscrew that. Now, most of the time, everyone just uses a needle nose pliers, um, but that actually is the correct size. And this size here, which is 732, actually fits on the um, pump for pumps that have the ends that screw on. So, pretty cool to have those. And then, this is a needle nose pliers that I ground down and I made, turned them into sort of like a duck bill. Uh, I'll show you why I did that. Then I have my uh, hooks. I have my tools to take out the valves that I made. Um, I have my um, check valve removal tool. You've seen me use this. Excellent, excellent tool to have. I have uh, some pieces of leather so I don't mar up anything when I'm taking it out. I have a little Schrader valve tool to remove the Schrader valve. I got some gaskets in here. I have this little socket that's for pushing the little clip on the pump. I'll show you that in a minute. And what else we got here? We got a little uh, empty valve thingy bob I made to empty the fuel out. We got a couple pumps, pump caps, leather pump caps. I made this. Uh, this is actually a leather pump. Um, I couldn't find a pump, uh, a uh, punch that was the exact size to fit. Um, when the pump cap goes on, the leather pump cap, um, there's a little recess, which I'll show you in a second. And so I ground down, this is just mild steel, I ground it down, it's very, very sharp, and I use this as a punch, and then I just have this little, little skewer I can use to just push it out. So I have that, what else? I got a uh, spare cap in here to use for testing, if it's like a three-piece cap or it's missing the gasket, I use this one. And then various other tools. Now, down here is where I keep all the parts. Now, what I was doing is I started uh, accumulating all these parts from my parts lanterns. And I was just throwing them off into another box. And I was like, wow, I want to keep everything together. So, in here... I have these little uh, clips that I use for the uh, suicide cases. I showed you that. Um, we have this little piece of plastic here from a um, coffee can lid to protect the fount when you're putting the frame on and the collar. Um, 
This is the old frame from my first 200A that I did. Got some bronze wool. We got some mantles and then various parts from different lanterns. I have these little tags, string tags, if I want to tag something. Um, got a lot of collars, bands, whatever you want to call them, frame rests. We got all kinds of valves, dip cleaner assemblies. Um, so let me show you this, what I was, some of the tools that are used for. Okay, so that little wrench, where is that now? Okay, so this little one, 732, actually fits right on there. Okay, so we got that one. And then this one has um, the little clip which this could be used to push the clip on. So we got that one. And then the other type, let me see if I can find one. I might not have a spare of those. These look like they're all push-on types. Yeah, I don't have a spare pump that has the um, screw on top but basically what I did was I turned these into duck bills so I could go in there and hold it okay so it's just a little little wider at the end and then um, use that other little wrench I just showed you for that and I can get it on and off the other thing was um, on the tip of the generators, I got a bunch of generators here. If I can get one out. This little tiny one, the 532nd, fits right here on the end of this. So you could unscrew the tip. Again, you could just use a little pliers, but I have this stuff, so I said, hey, let me just add it to my kit. You can get it nice and tight without damaging the brass. What else do I got in here? Oh, I, um, I upgraded the way I make uh, the leather pump caps. I had a piece of wood that I used to push in. Now I ground down this piece of uh, a socket. And so now it's steel. And I use that to push in to make the, uh, to mold the leather. So I got that. And then I use this in my vise. You can see the whole, the circle there in conjunction with, where is my little punch? Where did I put that? Here it is. So I'll put this in the vise, put the leather pump cup on, and punch the hole. So we got that. So there you have it. This is my little upgraded Coleman stove and lantern repair kit. So uh, repurposed. Um, I was actually going to go buy a bigger tackle box, and then I came across this metal box, and I'm like, you know what? That's going to work out great. So it literally cost me zero dollars and zero cents. <laughs> I love that. So thanks for coming along, everyone. You know I'm going to say it. Much, much love and appreciation to all you, my brothers and sisters. I hope you have a wonderful day, and we'll see you on the next one.